Hi, this is Patrick Brunel from Brilliant Directories, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about repurposing some of our search modules so that they can basically fit any niche or any project. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our default template. As you can see, it's a generic template that comes with every site. And what we're looking at here is a search module. So the goal of this video today is to show you how you can call a different search module and then you can repurpose it. So in this example, let's start a dating website. So Brilliant Directories does not have a dating theme so far, but a theme essentially is just what you're searching for. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the admin of my website. I'm gonna go to the design settings let me zoom in a little bit here. So I'm going to go to the design settings of my site. I'm going to click on the home page layout tab. And then here we have the home page search settings. So as you can see, we have this generic image of a waterfall. So I'll go ahead and I'll replace that with an image that's for my dating site. So let's go ahead and scroll down and select the proper image. All right, we'll go ahead and select that. Also, very important, we're gonna change the search type. So as you can see, these are all the different search modules that are available to you. If we scroll down, you're gonna see basically our themes. So it could be the blog article search, classified search, and so forth. Different search modules have different elements already programmed. So if you need a start date and an end date, you may want to leverage the event search. In this case, I'm going to use the real estate search because it's our most robust search module that gives us the most amount of filters that we can add to it. Uh, so, And also while we're at it, why don't we just uh, change the colors to something a little more red. There we go. That'll be nice. And save the changes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page that we were on. And we can now see that we have all of these different filters in here, including the properties search module. So why did I use this module? Basically, we have a lot of different filters that come pre-programmed with this module. So what I'm going to do is I want to repurpose this into a dating website search. So let's go to the form manager because this is a form. So we'll go to the toolbox, form manager, and I'm going to search for properties. And here we can find the properties form. So I'll click on edit. And here we can see all of the default variables that you can see here. So all statuses. If we go and look at it, status is using a variable called properties status. So as long as we don't edit this variable, we can rename status anything we like. So we could be, uh, we, well, we could call it relationship status. And then here, instead of for rent, we could put single divorced, for example, or married don't know why you'd be on a dating site if you're married, but hey, we'll put it in there. So single, divorced, or married. I always like to put a comma here at the beginning. Um, so we'll look at that. Then we also have property type. So we'll go look at property. My apologies. We'll go look at property type, which is here, type of property. So here you can see all of the ones that are available by default with the properties theme, but we're gonna change this to, let's say, birthday. So we'll go ahead and put in all the different types of birthdays, all the different years. So you could start at 1955, 1956, 1957, and so forth. So people can search by year of birth, for example. So you go on and you would add all the dates that you want. Then we can have, so people can search by age or birthday. Then bedrooms, we have how many bedrooms are available. So let's scroll down. So instead of calling it bedrooms, we could call this uh, height. So we could say this person is 150 centimeters, 151, 
152, 153. And then we'll put in, instead of bathrooms, we'll put in interests. And for interest, I won't want it to be a drop down. I'll probably want this to be something that they can check multiple options for. So we'll go ahead and we'll select the option for the checkbox can select multiple. So here we'll put uh, dancing, cooking, reading, and so forth. So we now have repurposed the statuses, the property type, the bedrooms, and the bathrooms. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to save this here. I'm going to log in as a member of this particular website. Now when we go to add a property, we'll see that these have been renamed. Now it says property status. It says property. It says the birthday, where I could put in the years that we inputted. It has the height and the height that we inputted and the different interests that we have here. So I could check the boxes for the particular interests that I like. Of course, there's more things to edit here or to remove. So if I didn't want the year built and the approximate square footage, I would go ahead and remove those. But what's important is the year built and the approximate square footage are not a part of the default search module that you see here. So even if you were to add something else for the year built and repurpose this, it's not going to be show up here in your search module. There'd need to be some further customization. So the next thing I might want to do is rename the feature itself something different. So it doesn't say my properties. So let's go to the membership features. We're going to find the properties feature and we're going to rename this. Let's rename this to relationship profile. We're not going to want to change the type of data. That's very important. But here we can put the permalink to be relationship profile. We'll copy the profile design page. Let's just rename it everywhere where it says properties. So we'll go ahead and refresh this page. Now when we scroll down, you can see it says relationship profiles. So we could change the icon as well, but when we go to click to add the relationship profile. It's now going to be titled relationship profile with all of the information that we've added. So the relationship status and so forth. So you can call the title that you can rename title my name, for example, if you wanted to. So all these can get repurposed. There's one very important piece missing now for this to be searchable, and that is this widget itself. So if we go ahead and click on show widgets, we'll be able to identify which module is the one that's being used. So we'll go ahead and click on that. So in this widget, we have all the code that we need in order to have these things display as they should. Bear in mind that the entries will show up properly for property type because this is using post categories. So property type is the only thing that you're not going to have to input manually. But for these other ones, you're going to have to hard code your options for them to match and for this to be searchable. So we'll focus on status. If we go and look at the code of the widget, we can see the statuses here. So I'll zoom in on this. So you see how this is hard coded. So you're going to have to do some, some advanced coding. If you need help, you can definitely email into Brilliant Directories. This is something the Brilliant Directories team can help you with. Uh, we do have a lot of experience setting this up. So if you've created the form, we can help you link this for a minor fee. But essentially, it's just a matter of editing this. So all relationship statuses. And then we have for sale and we have for rent. So these here are for all. These are for the sale. 
So here, what I want to do is I want to go into the form and copy single, because that's one of the new ones that we created. So instead of it being for sale, we're going to put in single. And everywhere where I see for sale, I'm just going to put single. And then I'm going to look at the next one on my form, which is going to be divorced. Everywhere that I see for rent, because I'll replace for rent with divorce. Again, this is why we call this repurposing. We're just repurposing an existing module. Okay, and as you can see, I have a third one here. However, in the widget, I don't have any more options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this option from the beginning to the end of the option tag. And we're going to create a third option that doesn't exist currently. And we're going to use it for the married fields. So I'm going to replace wherever it says divorce because it's a duplicate now with married. Okay, and we're going to save this widget. And now it says all relationships uh, stasis because I statuses. All right, let's refresh that. It says all relationship statuses, and when we open it, we can see single, divorce, and married. So if I just click divorce and I click search now, so since we edited the URL for the feature to now say relationship dash profile, it means that I also have to make one more small edit to the search now. So we're going to open up the widget and I actually already went ahead and did this, but I'm going to highlight where I made the changes. The action used to say slash properties. I changed it to be the proper URL and then scrolling down here it used to say profiles as well and we replaced it with relationship profiles. So I had to change it in two different places in the widget below the search now and as the action. So once I go ahead and save that change, now I can go ahead and pick a different status search and it'll take me to the search result page. So if I had anybody that had divorce, they would show up here in the search results. And essentially this is how you completely repurpose a search module to meet any industry with our website. I hope you found this helpful. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.